Hey everyone, my name is Grace Wells and welcome to this week's episode of making epic commercials for random objects. If you've seen my other videos in the series, then you already know what we're about to do. If you haven't, then honestly, it's kind of self-explanatory. We make epic commercials and we make them for random objects. See, I say it's self-explanatory, but this week is actually kind of a weird one because the top comment on my TikToks and the winning option on my Instagram polls, if you don't know how I do this, basically I take comments from my TikTok videos, I put them onto Instagram and people vote for which is their favorite. And this week, the winning object is air, which um, I don't know who missed out on the memo on this one, but like air, air is not an object, y'all. Uh, air is an element, and how am I supposed to market it to you when it is literally everywhere? Kind of reminds me of that movie, The Lorax. If you know, you know. But anyway, so that's not gonna stop me because I bend to your every will and I'm gonna make it work as I always do. So today we are going to make a commercial for air. Good old O2, baby. Also a little CO2, little nitrous oxide. It's gonna get spicy. All right, so before we get any further into this, I feel like I should probably explain what I'm actually going to do for this commercial uh, conceptually, because obviously I can't really show air in any straightforward way. So my idea for this commercial was to actually make the commercial sort of about a birthday party. Let me explain. There's a lot of items found at a birthday party that require air or that imply the presence of air. Um, the reason that I came to this idea was I first initially thought of a balloon because obviously when you blow up a balloon you need air to do that and then that kind of spiral into okay balloon what else uses air um those like noisemaker things that you have at parties can of whipped cream um a little bubbly a little champagne all those things use air or give off air or imply the presence of air um, so that is how I'm going to kind of go about this is I'm going to market air using objects whose existence requires air does this make sense? It will. <laughs> all right, so we're all set up for our first object, which is going to be whipped cream. Um, I know it would probably make more sense with the birthday theme to use a cake for this, but I was like, people don't really put whipped cream on cake. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So I made this like chocolate tart thing last night. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit ugly. It's definitely homemade, but it's done now and I can't change it, so we're just gonna work with it. So here's our first setup of the day. As you can see, I've got my ugly, ugly chocolate tart down here. And as always, I'm using my Sony a7 III to film this video. For this shot, I'm using the 28 to 70 kit lens. Just like, can you like hover your finger above the middle of the tart? Mm -hmm. Straight, just straight up. Okay. I don't think I can successfully swirl. Okay. One, two, three. Moving right along to object number two, noisemakers. So what I'm gonna do for the shot here is I'm going to blow into the noisemaker and get a shot of it basically rolling back up. And that's gonna serve as a transition to my next shot because once it rolls back up, I'm going to dive through it into my next shot. That's such a weird noise. Object number three is balloons. <laughs> All right, so I would be lying if I said I had a concrete plan for how I'm gonna execute this next shot. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna have the some of the balloons floating and then a hand comes in and pulls the balloons down. The obvious problem with this plan is that 
the balloons won't float because I'm filling them with carbon dioxide from my lungs and not helium, which is really the ideal scenario. So I'm gonna have to somehow make these balloons look like they're floating and then pull them down. No idea how. So here's the current plan. The current plan is to film this upside down and pull the balloons up rather than down. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is run a string across the room, tie the balloons to the string upside down, pull the string up. This plan could change. This plan could fail and could change. This is the current plan. Just a quick note about lighting. I've tried to flip flop my lighting setup because I'm going to be flipping this vertically. So I've got my gradient light coming from the top rather than the bottom and then I've got my main lights a little bit lower so that it looks like almost the opposite lighting of what I had before so that when I flip it, it's consistent with the rest of the video. Object number four is candles. Object number five is this bottle of Prosecco, which I'm only gonna have one chance to pop the cork on, which is a little nerve wracking. Go for 120 frames a second again on this one, and then maybe we can slow it down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna slow it down, but I want the option. I'm also shooting at a really wide angle because I want to make sure that if it doesn't land where I want it to in the frame that I can crop it and tweak it later. Can you do it, my queen? Thank you, my love. I haven't popped a cork in a really fucking long time. Oh. Well. <laughs> All right, update. I just went to the store and bought a new bottle of Prosecco. What a shame, we have two bottles now. No, it is kind of sad though. Um, so we're gonna try this again. If this doesn't work, I'm literally, I'm gonna pop off. Get it? I literally am so scared after earlier. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. Fucking got it. So to wrap this up, I'm just gonna get a couple of wider shots of the whole set together. So the balloons, the tart, the Prosecco, the noisemakers, all that stuff. I also made this sign because I think I'm funny and I love The Office. And these shots are basically just gonna serve to close the video out. Everything comes together at the end. We got a nice title, Fade to Black. Would you do me an annoying favor? Could you be my confetti gal? Literally, when you're ready, just like try to drop it in the center. Like literally on top of all the shit? I think so. Alright, that is a wrap on the air commercial. Time for me to celebrate with not one, but two bottles of Prosecco. And I'll see you tomorrow when the video is done. All right, so it is the next day. The video is edited, it's done, it's polished, it's beautiful, I love it, I'm very proud of it. Because honestly, when this was first suggested to me, I was so confused and I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. But I feel like all in all, I did my best. That's all we can ask for. So here is the final video. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my air commercial. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see all my future videos. Thanks so much again for watching. Keep on shooting. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Cool,